Hi guys and welcome to Super Metallurgy. Hi guys and welcome to Super Met. Today I'm in Bromley again and um, back at Creative FX and we're going to be looking at um, a brand new um, Aston Martin Vantage. It's 2018 edition um, and it's, uh, it's in hyper red. It's having some PPF film fitted and it seemed like quite a good time to have a look at the car and um, give you a good old show around it. So let's go inside and have a look. <laughs> So you can see the um, the interior is completely different to all the other styles of Aston Martin. Really is very, very different machine inside here. So dashboard now, um, it's got the three binnacles, which um, it didn't have beforehand. It's got beautiful stitching, all in the uh, same color as the interior, all following round everywhere. Um, leather top dashboard and um, really leather is absolutely everywhere adorning the inside of this car. And the first thing that really strikes me in this car is you notice the size of the mirrors. They really do stick out quite a long way from the car. Um, so it's, um, it's really quite an interesting uh, design and it really suits the car but, um, but they are quite big and I imagine you have to watch out for those. And you can see the haunches um, through, the, uh, through the mirror glass at the back of the car so it is wider at the rear than it is at the front. So let's, um, let's just put it into accessory and let's get everything fired up. <clears throat> okay, so you can see it comes up with that rather nice Vantage logo. It's telling me not to be distracted. Well, I'm penned in this workshop, so I'm not going anywhere. So this is utilizing um, Google um, on the navigation system. It's a real step upwards from um, the original systems beforehand. So it's, uh, it's really rather nice. And you can see I'm in Stanley Road at the moment, which I'm a certain yeah. Okay, so then if we go from the first auxiliary position on this stop start, and then we go through to the second, everything comes to light. So, you can see up on the dashboard it's now changed again. So we have the main display, which is your, um, your rev counter, and then you've got a digital uh, taco in the center. Um, you can see we're in park at the moment, and it shows you reverse, neutral, and drive. Um, headlights have switched on. Um, you can see other settings. So we, you can see the sport setting on the side of the steering wheel. So if I, if I click that, the dial actually changes. So this is the, um, this is the track focused setting at the moment. So it says T for track. If I click it, it goes back to standard, or which is sporty anyway, and then it puts you into um, Sport Plus, and the dial comes up with the uh, the red at the end for the um, sort of rev limiter at seven to eight thousand, and then it goes back into track again, which is all bright red, and it's showing you that you've really got everything switched on as, to the maximum. You can also see here um, it's gone tra more for track focused. So as I do this, um, it's changing settings. So at the moment, I've got. Um, Sport Plus, which has come up over here. If I press it again, it's gone into track mode. So that's the hardest suspension you could possibly have. Um, interesting setup, works very well. It's also got multiple other functions have come up on the screen here, showing 15 and a half degrees outside. <clears throat> And um, um, fuel level, temperature gauge, obviously the engine's not running. These will all go off as the engine is switched on, which I sadly can't do at the moment. Um, but everything else has now come to life in the car. So let's have a walk around on the outside of the vehicle. Okay, so in the boot of the car, you can see um, it's quite a nice setup in here. It's quite deep, wide enough to actually put um, easily, I would say, um, three or four soft bags for a weekend. And I reckon you could fit easily two um, sort of flight style suitcases in here um, and maybe even put something else up on this shelf here as long as it isn't too high. But you've got a fair bit of depth in here um, before you start hitting the glass. Um, down to the side here, I think this is the, yeah, the, um, this is the tire gel and maybe a compressor um, because you don't get a spare tire in this car as you can see. Just a lot of num number plates. So nice, nicely finished matte. I mean, this is what you're paying for with an Aston Martin. It's this finish to detail. Um, nicely piped carpets. I imagine this is a is a Wilton Grey carpet in here, which is pretty standard to a British um, a luxury vehicle. Um, and then you can see the inside of a car from here. Really, 
really lovely. Um, so if I put it back in here, you get an idea of the sort of perception view through the car. So you can see the bucket seats um, and the tags just on the sides of the bucket seats on the left hand side. There's these beautifully crafted leather tags which allow you to pull the seats forward and you've got those on, on both sides. And the stitch work follows back through into this car and again the lovely carpet work. This is quite a clever um, cover up here um, which allows you to, um, to cover up um, the rear window so so when the, the boot is down um, you can't see inside the boot um, so it's like your your boot cover but it allows from the outside the car to keep those nice aesthetic lines big gas straps holding this boot lid up and then up here of course you've got the um, the signature um, umbrella which is all built in with the um, the Aston Martin logo even still wrapped in this plastic but it says made in England um, with a lovely leather handle to help you um, to pull it, uh, pull it down again. So let's uh, let's shut this, shut this up. Very nice. At the back of the car, you see the, uh, the quad tail pipes. It's rather nice number plate, and all the black work against the hyper red paintwork is beautiful. Um, so you've got parking sensors to the sides and to the back, um, and then you've got further parking sensors down here. Um, this is your uh, reversing light, it's built into the rear splitter, which is really lovely. Nice finish. Wheels really set off. They're, um, these are in a, in a sort of a, a matte black finish. Um, they look almost sort of, it's, it's a powder coated effect, um, but really lovely with the black Aston Martin um, cap in the center with the white logo and the green. Um, and then these vast calipers um, helping stop this car because it has a, uh, a pretty hefty um, power to weight ratio and top speed. Okay, so let's get the bonnet open and have a look under the hood. Okay, so the outside of the car, so you can see I've just popped the hood from the inside which I'll show you where the latch is and then there's a, uh, there's a button just flip to one side and this is a clamshell style so the whole bonnet goes up. Really amazing, huge bonnet. See the size of that? Massive. Really massive. Comes all the way down the sides of the car. Okay, so you've got inner arches, um, completely different design to the other Astons. So this is um, a German derived Mercedes AMG engine. Um, and um, you can see it was inspected. It's got the, uh, the standard um, standard plaque of all Aston Martins, so you can see Aston Martin Vantage. And the final inspection was done by, so I think Sylvia, Sylvia, um, looks like a Polish name. Um, I'm not even gonna say the surname, but it was definitely a Sylvia that inspected this car. So she obviously gave it the, the once over. Big engine, twin turbocharged. See the air boxes coming into the engine scooping the engine up from the front of the car, getting the cold air. Um, huge, huge strut base in the centre. Really beautifully put together. Really looks like a piece of, um, of machinery that, that wants to put out some serious power. Headlights rather, rather nice. This detail down the sides. Almost looks like sort of gear, parts of a gear set that have been put in. Which is beautifully hung. All LED lighting, very nice. It's a vast engine. It goes all the way back into the depths of the, uh, the cabin underneath the dashboard. Just these plastic liners. It's sort of race car-y, really is, and these polycarbonate. Shut her down. You can also see again, it's got the trademark doors. So you can see the dihedra on these doors. Stick right up. They don't come out at a standard angle like a normal car. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Sets up. So you can see these, uh, these door cards. Beautifully finished with the black piano. And then um, the leather and the red stitching to match the bodywork. Really, uh, really lovely. The car hasn't been cleaned yet, so it is in its um, sort of dirty state. But the attention to detail, like these pads, so your knee doesn't bang against this hard plastic. 
really rather lovely. No glove box as well in this vehicle. Um, so um, storage is all down into these these door bins at the sides. But even the inside of the door bins has been finished off with um, with the red stitching, which is just really nice to see. Attention to detail is very great. And then the logos on the seats, very sculpted, very lovely. You feel like you're cocooned. Don't you? Thank you. 